I think all the ladies out there agree that there is always time for a girls' night out. Here in Monroe County, Girls' Night Out is the name of an organization that promotes women's businesses, organizations, artists, and performers. Now, it has grown into a network of over 1,200 women here in the Keys. This morning, I'm going to be speaking with the founder, Mary Lou Hoover. Mary Lou, thank you so much for being on today. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Absolutely, Jenna. Mary Lou, I am so amazed that you have come up with this concept. This is awesome. Girls' Night Out is your idea. What inspired you to start it? Well, I, hate, I would love to take credit for the idea of a Girls' Night Out, but we all know we've been doing that since we were old enough to go out and have a cocktail. But <laughs> for um, the purposes of our discussion, it really is about an organization that came out of discussion with about six, ten friends of mine back in uh, 2006. And um, they all said to me, I find it hard to meet people down here, make friends, get to know people the way I did in other cities that I've been, network the way I did in other cities. So having traveled a lot myself, I knew that I could do something about that. And we held our first girls' night out in October of 2006. And I invited 10 women to my house for dinner. And luckily for me, I cook more than I, I need to because um, actually not 10 showed up, but 16 showed up for dinner at my house. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that night, it was interesting to watch. We had women in their 20s all the way through their, to, to their 70s. Mm -hmm. And I watched these women literally absorb one another as far as conversation and just excited. You know, some of these gals didn't have their mothers down here, so they almost had like a mother figure and some of the ladies there. And so that's sort of what this whole concept, you know, it grew out of that first night. Mm -hmm. And I was gone then for a, a couple of months and when I came back. So the real start of it is in 2007. Mm -hmm. And that sort of growth pattern that we had that first night to uh, from how many invited to how many showed up, that continues to happen today as far as, as uh, the growth of this organization. Over 1,200 women in the Keys and several chapters around the country. That's awesome. So, like you said, your dinner party of 16, what was supposed to, what was supposed supposed to be 10, 10. <laughs> turned into 16, and now it's grown to over 12,000 women. Now, Mary Lou, you said that your concept behind it was that you wanted women to be able to mingle with others, to really network, make friends. What are some of your other visions about this organization? Well, I, I, loved, I loved the fact that uh, it was a way for me to help women who were starting in business or who were looking for some help promoting their businesses. So I do a weekly email, and in that email I announce their organizations, if they're having a, a fundraiser, if they're doing a, a promotion for their business, uh, if they're playing somewhere and want that, to, you know, I have all of that information out on a weekly basis, and then if for some reason they they manage to miss my deadline, then I go up on Facebook and make sure the information gets out there. And I think most women are surprised that uh, the Girls' Night Out Network really does bring business to their door. So um, from the, the standpoint of promoting that or their organizations or their music or their performances, um, it's really been, it's been good for all of them. Now, can anybody join Mary Lou? Are you always accepting new members? Always accepting new members. As a matter of fact, there's never been uh, one Girls Night Out where there hasn't been at least one new face, if not 10 or 15 or 20 new faces. Mm -hmm. We've had as many as 300 women at one of these um, um, outings. And we go to different places. We do go to mostly, we try to go to mostly women-owned businesses. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we let the guys treat us to a nice evening as well. And we go to spas, we go to the theater, we go to restaurants, we go to bars, cabarets. So. Uh, we really sort of, we try to spread the wealth, let's say. You absolutely do that. Is this monthly, weekly? How often do you meet? We do this once a month and uh, try and do it on a different day of the week because, let's face it, everybody down here has a different weekend. Mm -hmm. So almost everybody gets to come at least every couple of months, if not every month. And um, this last month we just finished doing a great one at uh, Maria Weaver's new place, Solo mm -hmm. Restaurant. And uh, I think she was pretty pleased that her entire place was packed that night with new customers so it was pretty exciting for her and for us to be there. Absolutely and now what another thing that's so interesting about this Mary Lou is that Girls Night Out this whole concept has grown to other cities and states across the world. It really has. And that's just because of word of mouth. Word of mouth and actually mm -hmm. we've had some members who were you know Girls Night Out women here who have moved and who have started up this concept in their town. Mm -hmm. may not be exactly the same as what we do down here, but the fact that they get women together, the fact that they do some fundraising. We have, uh, let's see, about 12 different chapters now 
around the so. country, and they're mm -hmm. all former uh, Girls Night Out ladies or friends of mine who have traveled down here and come to a Girls Night Out event and are amazed by, you know, what they see, so. Great. What's your, what's next, I should say, with what's your organization? Next? Well, you know, I mean, for, let's talk about this month coming up. Mm -hmm. This month we're going to um, the New Square one mm -hmm. that is now owned jointly by Carolyn and Carmelo, uh, Carolyn Sullivan, who will be hosting us that evening, and Dominique, um, who is overseeing their their uh, their chef in their in their kitchen, but uh, I know Carolyn really well, and she will roll out the dog that night for the girls of, of Girls Night Out, and um, then going forward, we're actually going to be joining up with Key West Food and Wine Festival, and when uh, Mark Sertonio and uh, Richard Talmadge and Mindy McKenzie get together for that big group that they have come in, we're going to invite the ladies to join the ladies of Girls Night Out, and we hope to have representative from. Uh, well, we hope that like Cheryl Cates, if she's in town, will be there, that uh, Heather Crothers and Terry Johnston, our, our elected officials, will be there. We want to show um, the ladies who come in for that festival that we've got quite a group down here and, and they need to see what we're doing. Absolutely. Well, you'll be able to do that and you'll do a great job at it. When is the event at the New Square One? Mary? The New Square One will be Monday the 20th and we always do it from 5 to 7. And, you know, as, as hard as I try to get there to be the first one there, there's always some lady that's there before me. <laughs> that's good. And, you know, the one they come directly from work. So that's mm -hmm. a good way to make sure that we get them to the event by starting it at 5. Because mm -hmm. then most people come just directly from work. And, and um, we always have something that we're, we're trying to raise money for. Um, this month, I'm leaving it up to Carolyn to come up with uh, whoever she wants to. But we just did two back-to-back. -back. We did uh, Healthy Start. Mm -hmm. uh, this last time and raised quite a bit of money for the for the ladies at Healthy Start that night and then uh, the one before that we did for Samuel's house mm -hmm. so I, most of the charities down here know us and know that mm -hmm. you know everyone's well we're good for a check so. yeah, absolutely well great well thank you Mary Lou I'll be having you on much more to talk about girls night out for more information just check out the information you see on the bottom of the screen I'm gonna take a quick break right now I'll be right back after these messages with Sheriff Rick Ramsey stay with me